I'm gonna be honest. To see these numbers on Patreon get to where they've gotten from where they were, is really like turning me to fuck up. Like, not only does this prove that AO Nation is just not some fucking group on the internet, it shows that we can really start some real shit. As long as it's me and it's y'all, nigga, we out this motherfucker. I'm going to see y'all in October. Get to the Patreon if you haven't got there, if you're a real AO Nation member. We working. Your bank account. You were supposed to have been had $50,000 in your bank account. Just over there sitting. Just, just ready. Ready for whatever. Yeah. You barely can take an issue in the house. If your girl go out there and um and uh get in an accident or something like that, that might put you in a situation where you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Ah, God damn. A little something happened, um, in, in, in the house or some shit like that. Anything out of the ordinary happen, which it always does in that month, here come a goddamn bill. Uh, shit, we need, uh, shit, we need, uh, 2000 or we gotta cut this shit off. What the fuck? The when the fuck this, what the fuck? Just from a, you know, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna end you. It's gonna end you. But you set it up to where your job allows you to make more than enough money, but you have it routine planned out what is going to be spent no matter fucking what on your dope. Oh, no matter what, every paycheck, I'm going to get me a whole... Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 movement. If you've not went to the Men 2 change.org petition on change.org, the Men 2 petition on change.org. Um, if you're not donated to the Men 2 GoFundMe, then it's all on you, my nigga. Um, I really don't want to keep saying that shit, but because there's new people every day, I have to make sure I go at it today like I went at it six months ago. You know what I'm saying? I go at it tomorrow like I did three weeks ago, like, or no, three months ago. Because so that the energy doesn't dissipate, but it's hard because... You just see people not taking this shit serious, and it's like, but you know they say uh, if you can save one person, and you've done your job and shit like that. So we'll continue to push. Um, it's going down in October, um, and this is, in hindsight, to do anything, go to the Patreon. Anything that you need to do, anything, go to the description box. Everything will be laid out. Um, for some reason, a lot of y'all don't understand that this is not the only channel. This ain't even the main channel. The main channel is the Big Facts Podcast. Then the other channel is the Super Rapper Show. And then the Me and Two Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to all of those. All of those links are in the description box again. But today, um, we got a, like, a, like just a, a person who doesn't like to look... Um, in hindsight because you've had nine chances to see 2020 vision 
after you made the mistake. I don't, I, it, cause it's like, what is happening is, obviously Chief Keith has now just made his 10th child support order. He's just created his 10th child support order. Chief Keith, I tried to get you custody of your daughter by way of your whatever baby mama, first baby mama, um, actually committed a crime when she had a child with you because she was 24 and you were only 15 years old. You or your people never got at me so that we can go forward with that. I had a Chicago lawyer on the line. I never got a nothing. So at this point, it's obvious that you're not into solving issues or escaping a hole. You're only into digging a hole deeper. So what we'll do is we'll learn from your mistakes. Smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. Um, Y'all, excuse my... Sinus just kind of throw it off for whatever the fuck reason. Um, but why is this part of the rap trap? The bitch that he got pregnant, just normal, nothing ass bitch, caked on makeup. Let me see this whole caked on makeup. This look like any motherfucker, man. Just, just any nothing that. Green hair. Uh, and she was just like exposing them and she just she really did going on them. I actually was gonna make a whole separate video about that, but it's just like do you even care about all that extra beef and all that extra stuff? I mean like the whole reason I made a video about Diamond in the first place because it came out that she got pregnant by Chief Keith. Like that's what everybody wanna know about. I think that's why that video blew up. Dog, you know what though? I Cause I, I didn't want to go in on on no nothing ass bitch because I at this point we can't blame the 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 wind uh, for being in the hurricane. This is a part of nature at this point. They're gonna be what the fuck they are. Um, and I guess with you, Chief Keep, you gonna be what the fuck you are. So all it is is for people to decide whether or not they're gonna be that or they're gonna be that. Um, you weigh your pros and your pros and cons. Um, with Chief Keith, like, I think it's important to do a little bit of pocket watching because with the courts, we know this, they don't, the child support order doesn't go off what you make. It goes off what you have the ability to make. Um, so your health doesn't come into play your um, mental well-being doesn't come into play. Um, whether or not you're going to have time to be a father to those children doesn't come into play or come to mind. The only thing that matters is your earning ability. Once people find out that you're getting slaughtered, um, in child support court for some reason and this is this is the world for some reason and this is the rap shit the music shit rap shit now motherfuckers i didn't need this nigga goddamn big this nigga trying to pay a motherfucking goddamn child support shit man that nigga goddamn around this bitch and he even to pay your child support on me nigga shit and that's what the fuck like it's like dog what the fuck does that have to do with this show and shit like that? Now you want to know what I'm saying? Lower the price because it looked like I'm just trying to work for my fucking child support. And Chief Keith, you're not, you're pretty much in the same lane as a one hit wonder in that your new music isn't relevant. Your new, like it, it's not relevant. To be honest, Chief Keith is damn near a couple
years. No, year. This nigga a couple. This nigga. By the time six nine get out, no, 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 no. Nigga, you a couple years from going on Vlad or Love and Hip Hop. Real talk, like you a couple fucking, you know what I'm saying? About two years off from having to go to that motherfucker. Same way Jock did, same way B2K did. Just like everybody had to go to that motherfucker because they had to pay their bills. And as far as watching black men squirm and, and putting them in these situations where they have to, they were so high, and now they have to do what they gotta do to pay their fucking bills. And they're not gonna take no motherfucking pity on you. You gonna go on a show, they gonna hit you with all kind of shit, they gonna make you do shit and, and just fuck up your career just like they did every artist that came on that bitch. Fuck up your career to where you can't make music. You can't make music. I don't, once you hit that show, motherfucker don't want to hit if you already had a music career. A successful music career. Once you come there, it's the graveyard. But you're going to have to go there in order to pay these fucking child support um, orders off. None of these bitches. I don't understand, like my nigga, like, and it's the dope. It's the dope. It's the dope. A lot of you and a lot of you niggas are living like this. The reason why you can't progress is because you won't go through the pain. I was just talking to um Alexa earlier, um, not the robot, um, and I was telling her that we're taught to that that pain is bad. Pain is. Uh, that means something is wrong, but pain is also a sign of growth. Um, because you don't want to deal with the pain of everyday life, these sober thoughts, the, how uncomfortable it is to be sober because you have to deal with all, you have to deal with your life. One on one. You don't got no motherfucking peel to save you, no weed to save you, no coat to save you, no hair. It's just you and your fucking life. And because of the way that you've allowed this dope to do you, it's like waking up. Like that's that's exactly what it's like. It's like waking the fuck up. And you have all of these fucking homework assignments on the table. And it's like, fuck this shit, I'm going back to sleep. I'll do this shit later. And it's and it just continues. But every time you go back to sleep, it piles up, continues to pile up, and it gets even worse. Because now it was just a fucking homework assignment. Now it's a motherfucking um if you don't if you don't um uh turn this in by this date, then um you'll have a fucking midterm uh, you have a zero on your midterm. So, you just slept through that shit, now you got a zero, so now you failed the class. And this is life. This is the phases of your life. And, and it can actually be a literal thing, like, because you didn't graduate high school. That's one thing that's on top of the table. I ain't got no fucking diploma, I ain't got no GED. Fuck that shit, I'm going back to sleep. I'm 25 years old. I'm staying with this bitch. I'm going back to sleep. And I got no job. I ain't got that much weed left. I'm here with this big ass bitch. And she be talking that fucking shit, but she the only one who will buy me weed and shit like that. And I'm 35 years old. Fuck that shit, I'm going back to sleep. So it never, never fixes the problem. The problem doesn't even get, you don't even touch any of the assignments on the table. You just sleep on them. 
Like, because you don't see them anymore, they're gone. You have any idea how fucking childish that is? Kiss, peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. <laughs> a lot of you motherfuckers are planning or already have moved to places where um, your drug of choice is legal. Um, and you're just in paradise. You, um... <laughs> you go to work, you find you a job there, um, you go to work, you get off, smoke, go to sleep, wake up, go to work, smoke, go to sleep, wake up. That is your life now, and... I love it when I, I hear drug addicts tell me about how how much more creative they are, um, or how much, how much more focused they are um, while under the influence of whatever fucking substance, um, which is the fucking truth, especially with the fucking uh, with the painkillers and shit like that. If but you have to be built a certain way in order to actually execute thoughts that you may have came up with. And you have a time limit to do that because chasing your dream time can't cut into finding more pills time, finding more weed time. Making sure this nigga got some more coke time. Hoping that this person over here got some dog food time. You have to understand by now that you're working for the dope. You have to understand. Like, come on, you lost your job because you pissed dirty. You lost your job. And your roommate kicked you out or he left and make you take over the payments because you can't wake up on time because you were just so high and drunk the night before. And this shit has happened multiple times. You ain't got your shit together. And then you're the functional user. Now we, we talk about the functional user who, yeah, now I, yeah, yeah, I take care of my business. All right. So you don't have those issues of, you know, pissing dirty, which you do that because you work a job that doesn't have any benefits. They just want you to do some with a cement work or some shit like that, just a under the table job. And the reason why you have that job is because you don't want to take a fucking piss test at a better job. But you're the functional user because you ain't not just missing motherfuckers and uh, uh, getting uh, violating parole and shit like that and, and all that shit. So, your only problem is you can't move forward in life. You got the whole living life thing down. But as far as being successful, where you know that you should be, you know that you should be successful. You can outthink all the people around you. You're obviously a leader. But as far as success goes, you don't have enough. You're giving it all you got right now. At least in your eyes, you all. You're giving it all you got. So. When a person asks you what progress you're making on um, anything that you're supposed to be doing to get you out of just living life, you got to, uh, well, you know, uh, this is it, always something that, uh, you know, uh, and you know, this. Because from the outside looking in, it looks like, oh, this, this motherfucker here got some shit. Uh, oh, you see, she got her shit together. Well, with a woman, it'd be different because obviously she'll be getting. Um, 
she might be getting help, but oh, maybe she not. Maybe she she doing it all herself, whatever like that. But she can't even go to the next level because she's kept herself off. Same thing with the man. He's kept himself off because after going to work, taking care of the kids, which is all you feel like you have to do. That's, that's you handling your business. Going to work, taking care of the kids. So you're going to work and you're paying the bills. That's all you're doing. The rest of your time is spent on getting high. Making your body feel good. Because you have so many failures, so many examples of people who have went off the deep end with the dope, you feel like, oh, you all good. But in your mind, you know that you're supposed to be doing way better than what you're doing now. Like, you're not even really trying right now. Hey, yo, what it do, man? It's your man, Ayo Conseco. I'm tuning in with the Big Face Podcast. One. I can't do it. I can't do it. That just ain't my style, dawg. I just, I just gotta keep it real. Look, dawg, let me holler at y'all. Look, I don't put that Patreon, them numbers for the Patreon. That's for Ayo Nation. If you're in Ayo Nation, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put all the videos. They won't be listed on YouTube. So if you want all the videos and shit like that, you need to be a patron. If you want to contribute to the conversation that we have every Monday night, we go live on the Big Face Podcast YouTube channel at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to contribute to that conversation, have the call in number to where you can call in at any fucking time during those lives, you need to be a patron. I don't put those Patreon numbers and the men two numbers at the beginning of the show just so you can hear Winning Streak. As a matter of fact, if you want the whole Winning Streak single, all you have to do is send two dollars to the cash app or the paypal um and i'll send the song to whatever emails attached to your paypal or cash app it's not that fucking hard um but the patreon is for AO nation i expect for y'all to fuck with that um and before y'all start asking this hat is not for sale um the markup on it is too high i was just trying to see what that shit looked like for real the markup is too high right now, so I have to sell that shit for like $30, and I'm not prepared to say that to y'all. Um, so right now, we just have the Men 2 t-shirts for $20, uh, Big Facts Podcast. We have the new Navy Blue Big Facts Podcast uh, t-shirt, uh, 15 Everything is 15 with the Men 2 t-shirt. Then you got the Big Facts Podcast Scully for uh, $10 deal. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 and put all your information in that motherfucker. Um, I salute everybody, all of my niggas, all of the men two, men two, men two members, AO Nation members that have been donating to the show. As you know, I'm a nigga on YouTube, so it is what it is. So when you contribute, it's a big deal to me. Um, but don't go crazy. Uh, but every uh, third Sunday, we do the AO Nation donation conversation where I shout out everybody who showed love. Uh, within that period and shit like that. If you don't want to be mentioned during that show, all you have to do is put no mention and you won't be mentioned. Um, but I really do appreciate everybody who shows love every third Sunday. It seemed like my message has went out there to where people know if you're a small business, you gotta have at least $100 for promotion. Uh, if you're an artist, you need to have at least $200 for promotion. Other than that, just leave me alone. I do this shit by myself, but I salute everybody for really giving me my time, giving my space to do what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So I salute you. You want to go to work? Let's go to work. If IG sponsorship shit is not doing shit for you, and you know that. So handle your fucking business. Holler at me. Let's get some shit done. I'll see you on the man. Get the shit together, be home. And you on top. You like, because the dope. You addicted to it, but. You're not retarded, you got a mind. But that dope is that, like, you only using 25% of your brain, the active side of your brain. So you say only one side of our brain work. Of the active brain, you're only using 25% of it. Now, all you gotta do is get up, go to work, your job ain't shit. Get up, go to work, come home. 
take care of the kids. It's it's pretty pretty fucking easy job. But seventy five percent of your shit is just getting high, getting high. So much so that if you stop getting high, the immediate result would be the immediate result would, would affect your job, your ability to take care of the children, all that shit. And you know this. You know that you can't stop doing what you're doing. Again, I can I stop. I, I just don't. Why, why would I though? I, 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 I can stop. I, why, why would I stop though? The point of my hand, my business. I, I take care of my. You know, I got the, the kids straight. The, yeah, I, I pay my bills. Everything all good. But it's seventy five percent of your mind that's not even being applied. You were supposed to have been had. Ten thousand dollars in your bank account. You were supposed to have been had fifty thousand dollars in your bank account. Just over there sitting, just just ready, ready for whatever. Yeah. You barely can take an issue in the house. If your girl go out there and um and uh get in an accident or something like that, that might put you in a situation where you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Ah, god damn. A little something happened um in, in, in the house or some shit like that. Anything out of the ordinary happen, which it always does in that month, here come a goddamn bill. Uh, shit, we need, uh, shit, we need uh, 2000 or we got to cut this shit off. What the fuck? The when the fuck? This, what the fuck? Just from a, you know, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's going to end you. It's going to end you. But... You set it up to where your job allows you to make more than enough money, but you have it routine planned out what is going to be spent no matter fucking what on your dope. Oh, no matter what, every paycheck, I'm going to get me a whole motherfucking shit. It's on. I'm going to get me an ounce. It, it ain't no... Ain't no I know I have a business, take care of the kid, but it's me right here. It's just what I do. I just do what I Now girl, ain't nothing wrong with shit. I make sure I take care of my kid. I ain't worried about no nigga. I just I just sit back and smoke my weed. And what ends up happening, man, is that once you get to be 40 years old, you get to be 38 years old, 45 years old, it's not until then you realize I don't have anything. If I don't go to work tomorrow, everything is fucked. I can't take two days off of work if I had a mental breakdown. If I stop working within a month, everything will be fucked over. I have nothing saved. Because, I mean, if you got under $5,000 in the bank, it's like, and, and you have a job where you can, you know what I'm saying? You can't say nothing. You spend to capacity. And you spend to capacity because you're high. And as you're high, it's not allowing you to think with any foresight. You're thinking short term. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get these. Yeah, you know, I'm going to get that right. Yeah, you know, come on, man. 
then you hollering, ah, oh, man, shit, you know what she is, you know, I, I, I just got a big heart, man, I just got a big heart, you know, somebody go, I just try to, big heart, dog, you still drowning, within a month of you not working, it would be over with, over with, you wouldn't have a car, you wouldn't have a place to stay, and will barely have the clothes on your back. Because none of the furniture, you, you, you fucking putting payments on everything. We're not accomplishing goals because we're not setting them. You say, I want, I'm gonna have 50,000 in the bank next year. And you're thinking that you don't need to start that until, so every month, I'm, no, I know every month, every day of this whole year, I'm going to live like I'm trying to have 50000 in the bank, not getting touched by the end of the year. I'm going to live like that every day, not just m monthly, every day. I'm going to tell everybody, if I have anybody around me, I'm going to tell everybody around me what my plan is so that it's understood. This is why we're not doing that. This is why that's not going on. This is why we're not doing that. But first of what you have to do is speak to yourself and say, I want this more than I want this. That's a hard, that's a hard conversation to have though. That's a hard conversation to have. Whoo! Because we've been sleep so long that it's so much on the table, not just even assignments. It's been emotional shit we've been sleeping on also. We never really actually healed from the death of this person. Uh, that situation, that relationship, I, you know, you left it without any closure. You lost that friend because of dope. One night you were tripping and went too far. And then you want to fall down on the three S's like, yeah, I don't need nobody, I'm by myself. But... That's why I have an issue with motherfuckers picking and choosing what S they fuck with because you only have the second S because you couldn't do the first S. So I'm telling you that every S should be voluntary. So it's not I'm celibate because no girls want me. No, no, no. I'm celibate because... I need to be celibate to have my mind clear and focused. I have the temptation every day. The temptation has to be there. The the uh, the choice has to be there. You can't be like, yeah, well, I'm celibate. No, like you're not celibate. Like nobody wants you. You know what I'm saying? If that's a problem for you, then you need to do something with yourself. Do something about it. Whether it be go to the gym. Get a better job, whatever the fuck it is. The second is, you can't say I'm, I'm, see, I'm solitude, I'm, I'm isolated. You can't say that because nobody fucks with you because of how much of a fucking dope thing you are. You have to have the opportunity, the temptation, the choice of being around people. You can go and be around motherfuckers. Of course, anybody can go to the club or some shit like that. But I'm, I'm talking about, no, friends that want to come around. See what I'm saying? You can't say that. I got the first S down and you've never done drugs. You got the first S down, you gotta get the other two S's. Like, you've never done. Come on, man, be for real. 
because it's, it's just so much, man. It's so much. It's to think that you're going to keep putting yourself to sleep until you're 40, 4, 42, 46 years old and then choose to wake up. Like, if you're over 25, you don't have any more time. It's over with. It's over with. All of the cards are stacked against you. So, you don't need to be anywhere doing anything with anybody. You have to get sober today. You have to get away from people today. You have to stop fucking today. If you're going to have anything going on, if not, you should be expecting to be working as a greed at Walmart at 50, working, you know, physical labor, you know what I'm saying? Where people will be like, damn, man, shit, OG, you know what I'm saying? Rough, rough as fuck. If you're not ready to apply yourself and you're older than 25, and you don't have nothing, you don't have anything, and you know if you have something. Dog, if you can't go without working, like that's really the whole United States is here. So really nobody has no time to fucking play. If you don't own your car, you don't own no house, you don't have anything in your savings, there is no more, you can't afford to be Netflix and chill. You can't afford to spend five minutes being high. Every moment of the day, every second, you need to be writing some shit down, activating it. Writing some shit down, executing it. All right, I need to watch this seminar. If you gotta, uh, you need to get on the phone. I'm gonna do a consultation um, with um, the fuck is this? Uh, some girl from uh, uh, J and G um, Services, and they uh, talk about uh, they do the um, the royalties, um, royalties, something with royalties uh, with the music and shit like that. I need that for the artists I'm dealing with. I'm paying for that consultation. If you're not going to put your mind in a place or start making your mind your fucking biggest weapon, oh, uh, it's, it's, it's old with. And whatever the fuck you get is whatever you get. Whatever you get is whatever the fuck you get. You know that you drink too much. You know that. You know that, that it's just... And what you want to do in life... That drinking shit has to go. You know it. But it's just, ah, man, it, you know that. It, once you take that first sip, it's just. But you got such big dreams. But they're not bigger than that bottle. And I beat in that peel. And I beat in that fucking blunt. And another one. Maybe y'all know what time it is. In the bag. And this is this is what I'm saying with Chief Keith. It's like my nigga, after a certain amount of time, it's not them. It's you. You know exactly what the fuck you dealing with at this point. Ten baby mamas. We can talk about. I gotta tell you, man. Like, what, what kind of nothing ass bitch gonna be a, a tenth baby mama audit? That issue has already been spoken about. We, we, uh, we don't even have to speak about that. Any female that deals with NBA young boy, 
or Chief Keith, we understand exactly who they are. We have to be looking at NBA Youngboy and Chief Keith to see like, y'all gonna just let them run that shit on y'all? Like, you don't see nothing coming? This bitch ain't even with this new Chief Keith bitch. She ain't even like bad. Like this hoe was a, a rat face looking bitch. And maybe that's what he thought. He, but she's a YouTuber. Like you knew, like y'all don't want to get no average every day. So like I said, I can't I can't blame these people. These nothing ass bitches are doing what alligators do. They're doing what fucking snakes do. How in the fuck uh, the story about the um, the woman putting the snake in her bosom and uh, she walks around with the snake in her bosom and shit like that. You know, people, yeah, whatever. Long story short, the snake bite and shit like that. Why would you bite me? And the snake said, I'm a snake. What do you expect me to do? fuck do you expect these hoes to do with 10 baby nine baby mamas you didn't heard every fucking i'm on the pill i'm gonna get an abortion a tube's tied i can't get you didn't heard everything in the fucking book i would never do that to you and you continue when you are given an opportunity hey man your baby mama statutorily raped you your first baby mama and shit like that you can at least get that custody of that child and get off that one. Fuck that shit, bro. It is what it is. So now you just a fucking learning tool for everyone else. If you don't want shit out of life, if you want to be a fucking worker, continue what the fuck you're doing. But if you actually want it, just, man, come on, my nigga. Just... With all the people that I've, artists that I've, you know, dealt with, the shit that they say, I want, I, I want, I want, I want, and they have all these grand schemes, but, ah, oh, man, I swear to God, man, on Wednesday, man, at 13, oh, man, I swear, that's why I don't play no games when it comes to, because I, I understand what the fuck most of these niggas are, most of these niggas on drugs, period. And they just, in the moment, feel like, oh, man, I'm ready to do this shit. But when it really comes down to it, and that's why the three S's are so fucking powerful. Because if it's extremely simple, you know it. Dog, if you stop smoking, stay the fuck away from people, and leave them hoes alone, that bitch that you with, nothing ass ho, you know what I'm saying, that you continue to argue with every fucking day, every night. You left? Yes, it will be rough and tough because now you're on your own and all that shit like that. But you would actually be able, like that's you saying, my future is more important than anything. Niggas not with that. I, I can't do it right now, man. You know, I got this, uh, you know, I just had my baby, man. I just, yeah, you know, I'm just, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm about to, and that's why everything you do continues to fail. You put something out, it gets five views. You put something else out, it gets nine views. You go and do an IG sponsorship. You do some uh, promotion through a channel. You do that shit one time in nine months. And it's like, oh, yeah, this shit ain't... It. The fuck was it supposed to do? That was supposed to just... You know, I'm blowed up. But it is what it is. And if you niggas think that you're going to be able to continue um, to put yourself to sleep, no pun intended, you're in for a rude awakening. The bit of rat trap, uh, that was a 
Big Mumble. Big Mumble right there. This has been a wrap trap. Make sure y'all go to that Patreon. That's the most important thing. Go to the Patreon. Make sure you show your love on the PayPal and shit like that or the cash app. I'll see y'all in a minute.